Okay, so I recently bought a centipede board on eBay. <clears throat> I haven't been repairing arcade boards in quite some time. My eyes have gotten bad. But this one went fairly cheap, so I went ahead and bid on it, and I got it. And um, it uh, looks to be in good shape. Uh, serial number on it is um, 12611. So if you have that machine and you need this to match your serial numbers, contact me, I guess. Um, this is this was sold untested or unworking or something. I think it was untested. Uh, someone has converted it to a single game ROM. Um, no, none of the codes have been checked. Um, I'm just going to plug it in and see what we get. Um, I've got my test harness plugged in already. And I don't see any missing or broken components anywhere. The ROMs are there, the non-volatile memory is there, Pokey is there, processors there, character ROMs are there, all the RAMs are soldered in, which is typical, video RAMs, those are the video RAMs there, game RAMs are over here, everything's there, uh, PROM is there, and the game ROM, is, like I said, is con being converted into a single ROM. Alright, so... I've got the uh, scope fired up, so I'm ready to turn this on and see what happens. <clears throat> Monitor's warming up. And it looks like we've got nothing on the screen. Dead screen. Alright, so let's start with the clocks. All right, six megahertz, nothing. Six megahertz is dead. Four hertz, of course, it's not going to work if six megahertz isn't working and 12 megahertz isn't working. So right off the bat, we don't even have a clock. And um, so the inverter for the clock is here. Let me just go through the different pins. Low, high, low, high low high so that side looks correct oh got something on the screen when i shorted it all right let's see that that's output input output input out or output yeah input okay so the inverter is functionally correct it is a 74 s04 which is going to be the correct part for this um clock circuit and that's the reset button that's i don't like these they're stiff all right so i need to focus on the clock circuit could be the crystal crystal when the crystals go bad they usually are loose but this one is nice and tight so i don't suspect the crystal um but that doesn't mean it isn't bad let me flip the board over and look at the other side and see if there's a short or bad solder joints or anything like that so, circuit, this is the crystal, Oop! this is the crystal here, those two points, those two um, wire thingies or bumps, and the inverter chip is here, I don't see anything suspicious, okay, and this is the reset button here, reset button, crystal, is that a broke trace maybe? No, it's just garbage. Just a piece of um, spider web or something. Um, okay, strange that we don't even get a clock. Okay, so there's some pins there on that that are all over the place. There could be shorts there, maybe related to the clock, maybe not. So let me check the back of this board real close. I don't need the camera for that. And anything I find like that, I will fix we'll we'll straighten them up and trim them off because we don't need those long all right this is part one okay so i trimmed uh all the pins on the back of the board that look like that might have uh possibly be shorting and we still have nothing on the screen and we still have nothing on 12 megahertz or 6 megahertz but that looks like it might be close 
probing inside the clock circuit. Um, I, all right, so what I'm going to try to do <clears throat> is I have a 12 megahertz crystal here, and I'm going to flip the board over here so I can get to the back side. <clears throat> and I'm going to <clears throat> touch this crystal to the other crystal and see if we get clocked this way without having to remove the old one. If, if the old one's bad, it's going to be opened. So, still nothing on the screen, so probably nothing on the clock. Scope go. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay. So, I'm going to watch the 12 megahertz signal. This is going to be tough to do with one hand and holding the... I don't see any difference. Yeah. So I suspect the crystal is good. What could be the problem is um, the resistors or the capacitor for the biasing of that clock circuit could be bad. So let me uh, mess around with that and I'll be back. Okay, um, so ohming around, uh, resistors, capacitors, everything seem to check out okay. This transistor though, um, which is used to amplify the signal, if you will, to sense the signal, uh, is ohming out a little strange. So I'm going to replace it, but to show you what it's doing. All right, well anyway... <clears throat> when I ohm out the, resi uh, the transistor, the old one, I'm getting 0.3s, 0.2s, 0.7s. And what I should be getting is 0.6s uh, for the different junctions. So I can't show you what it is because I don't have enough hands. I need to get a tripod or something or use something other than my cell phone to record this stuff. But um, yeah, it's, it's most likely bad. So let me replace it and I'll come back. Okay, so... I've got the new transistor um, installed in there, and um, it's a originally it's a two N thirty nine zero four. I just put a generic uh, NTE one twenty three AP transistor. Um, it's not going to be critical, I don't think. So um, let's turn it on and see what happens now. Get my scope. Check the twelve megahertz. Okay, there's twelve megahertz. We're getting something now. 4H, 6 megahertz. All right, so the clock signal's up and running. Let's see what's on the screen. Ooh, that doesn't look good. All right, we have random garbage. Let's see, self-test. Self-test is doing nothing. Let me check the reset. So resets not happy. All right, well that's step one. We got the clock working. Now it's uh, I've got to probe around and see what I can figure out. Okay, um, self test is running. Um, it's giving me a ROM four error. Not sure what that's about, <clears throat> but uh, all I did was uh, reseated the CPU chip and that got it running. Uh, basically, these chips are, are garbage at this point. They're so old. And um, I really should replace both of these. Um, I don't know about this one. I mean, this one may need to be replaced, but I didn't mess with that, so it came up. And the two character ROMs are probably okay. I didn't mess with those. The problem was the CPU uh, need, was re needing to be reseated in the socket, so that indicates that socket is trash. Also, the pins probably need to be cleaned up a little bit. So I'll replace these two sockets and uh, we'll see if that makes it stable. But it is passing self-tests and the ROM error, I'm not sure because uh, it's got the single ROM here. Maybe one of the uh, address lines is bad or something because it's all Fs for that, for that ROM. 
so um i don't know i'll uh i'll keep working at it but uh let's see what happens when we put it in gameplay all right so the game's playing uh i don't know if uh if the rom air why it would run at all unless some unless it's a modified rom or something but this is looking promising i don't have a trackball hooked up so i can't test it yet but uh yeah it's working board's running all right next step is replace those sockets okay uh replace both of the sockets and game is working great self-test is still giving me the four rom four I'm, I'm not even sure if that's rom i'm gonna have to look in the manual but i'm pretty sure that's rom four uh that arrow could also mean pokey or the um non-volatile ram I'll, I'll have to check that but um if it's a non-volatile ram then that's that's fine that's perfectly normal for my setup because i don't have negative 22 and positive 22 uh, volts to supply the power for that uh, the pokey uh, should not get errors on this setup, so it's probably the non-volatile RAM. I will look that up, but um, I believe it's up and running. Um, I don't have the uh, I don't have the uh, trackball set up yet, but I can still start the game, and we can see if the sounds are working. So um, sounds are there. I, this is unamplified. This is coming straight off the little op amp that's on the. Uh, on the game board so sounds sound good the gameplay is not jittery um i was having some graphics glitches early on because the voltage was set to 5.75 and i lowered it down to 5.1 volts and uh, after doing that that solved all the graphics problems i was seeing um so i will test this with trackball and i suspect it will work and if it doesn't uh there's some common chips that uh, can go bad in that circuit but usually that's the trackball is not a problem uh fire button Let's see if fire button works yep fire button works so that's it for this video i guess um very happy with this and uh, whoever did the uh, rom single rom conversion must have done a good job because it's working all right see you see you next time